Hey, what's up, everybody? Yours truly back in the space, back in the place. Once again, Mickey Smith Jr. here in the Cannonball Studio. Uh, here today just to talk with you about what I like to call the fundamentals. The fundamentals. You know, as a, as a beginning band uh, teacher, as a, as a music educator, there are so many things that, uh, that we just happen to do and tend to do that we don't realize not only is significant, but it's difficult for the beginner. And you know, so many times I go into a classroom and simple things like posture. I may see 17 different versions of it. How do you successfully teach and reach those students to where they themselves can operate with a level of autonomy? I think it's uh, creating lasting ways in those first days of school. So today, I want to talk to you about something that's so significant. But watch this. I wear a lot of different hats as a musician, performer, uh, but, but there's one hat. I, I, I need to sport today. I got to. I got to rep. I got to rep. I got to rep it today, guys. Here we're talking about the posture. Whenever I'm teaching kids something, I like to break it down into bite-sizable, tweetable, Snapchatable, Instagrammable type of uh, fun size, bite size learning. So the first thing I tell a kid is we want to make sure, especially on saxophone, because it can be so awkward, to make sure that we pull the string up on your spine. Right, right. And you got to think about it. the younger kids, they love that kind of stuff. So don't be afraid to, to be authentic and to be real and, and reach them at the level that they're at. Remember, we're talking about the littles, we're talking about the midget mafia guys, we're talking about the little kids. So we pull the string up. The next thing I tell them to do is not only do you have to make sure that you're nice and tall and the spine is elongated, but you want to make sure that, that there's no tension in the shoulders. Why? Because tension is the enemy of success. So we want to have the soft shoulders and relax them. Next thing we want to do is we want to open up the diaphragm. I'm from the Bayou State. I'm from Louisiana. We got that cage in music with the accord. In. It's got the bellows, and we understand if we open it up, then it opens up the opportunity for air to fill us up. So we want to expand our capacity, and that means pull those shoulder blades back. And then finally, we want our feet to be flat on the floor so we can support the weight of the thing we're trying to carry. Now let's be honest. I gave a pretty good detailed description of what the posture looks like, but what's the likelihood that a kid could repeat that and then duplicate that and model that for themselves? exactly the way you said it. Old school game telephone, you tell somebody something by the time it gets to the end, it's totally different. And I think so much of our teaching can't just be talking, it's got to be effective. So what I like to tell folks is this, huh, all that stuff I said is good, but you know what's better? First you gotta sit tall, let your shoulders fall. Make them meet in the back and put your feet down flat. You gotta sit tall, let your shoulders fall. Make them meet in the back and put your feet down flat. You gotta sit tall, let your shoulders fall. Make them meet in the back and put your feet down flat. What did I just do there? I took that, that big idea and I broke it down to the fun size. Think about the candy. The king size is not the fun size. What's the fun size? The bite size stuff. So make those bite size learning moments powerful. And then that way, watch this, now the kids can take charge of what you've given them. Because as a kid, now I'm thinking, sit tall, shoulders fall, meet the back, feet flat. Now all of a sudden, I have this right. And if we have this right, then this is going to be right every time. Whether you got it here or if you got the little alto sax that's here. Either way, you want to make sure this is right. Because this is where the music starts. Give your kids the opportunity to make their next steps their best steps. And their next sounds will be their best sounds yet. Once again, my name is Mickey Smith, Jr.